we lift up our two hands and thank God for answered prayers today. After two days, we will revive us. Thank Him for the revival in your soul today. On the third day, we will raise us up. Thank you for what lies ahead of you and awaiting you tomorrow. We do celebrate God for those amazing testimonies and the grace to keep pressing. The grace to keep pressing. The grace to keep pressing. Celebrate Him. Magnify Him. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. We are God's choice vine planted on a most fruitful hill and called to be fruitful. Amen. Amen. Now we sing to my beloved a song of my beloved touching his vineyard. My beloved has a vineyard that in a very fruitful hill. And he planted with the choices of vine. He built a tower to watch over it. And he looks for fruit he can't find because the people had no knowledge. I pray that this spiritual week of emphasis will mark the beginning of an, of an unending fruitful life in your own life. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Lord, speak to me today. Let your word locate me today. Let my own word come 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 today. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. He sent one word into Jacob. And he turned that one person to a nation. Your word is locating you tonight. In Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a big hand and get seated, please. I'm present towards my high calling. Present. Let me start tonight by showing you what your high calling is, in case you don't know. Everyone that is born again is given a ministry of reconciliation. You check throughout your Bible, that's the limit they give you. Second Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17 and 18. Therefore, if any man be in Christ a new creature, all things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And all things of God, who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and has given to us, everyone that is born again, has been given the ministry of reconciliation. Everyone. Everyone. That's your high calling. That's the calling upon every believer's life. As being, that you don't know it does not mean it's not the truth. Now, you don't find it the day your journey on that is over does not mean it's not true. Every child of God has a high calling ministry of reconciliation. What makes it high? That's the most valuable thing to God. That's the most valuable thing to God. That's the most valuable interest of God on the earth. And you go on there, the next verse, to wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not in putting their trepans unto them, and has committed unto earth the word of reconciliation. So we have the ministry of reconciliation. We have the word of reconciliation. That's a high calling. Reconciling the dying world back to God. That's a calling. Now you now look at John 15 and verse 16. You have not chosen me, but I've chosen you. That you should go forth and bring forth fruit. And that your fruit shall abide. He's saying the same thing. 
Jesus said it. Paul by revelation expanded it. I am the vine and you are the branches and then every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he take it away. And every branch, so it's every, it's not some. Every. John 15, 1 and 2. Every. So every branch of this vine is ordained a fruit bearing branch. Every child of God is a branch of the vine. Jesus is the vine. Praise God. And so, our high calling is reconciling the world back to God. That you don't know that Titan is the gateway to open heaven does not make it not to be the truth. Just that you don't know it and you are suffering for not knowing it. That you don't know that praying in advance and prayer it gives you an opportunity of favor with God. That doesn't mean it's not the truth. Just that you don't know it. Please know your high calling. So it won't just be a chorus. But a responsibility that you treasure. A responsibility that you treasure. A responsibility that you treasure. Let me show you one thing. It is difficult, it's impossible to get a soul winner depressed. But you won't know that when you get involved. I'm privileged to be one of the beneficiaries of human attacks for so long. There is nothing said, unsaid, spoken, unspoken, that has ever tampered with my joy. Nothing. I see persecution merely as a, a harsh expression of your view. You have a right to your view. So you only said it harshly. So there is nothing there. Praise God. That man is a fool. He's not born again at all. Good. It's your view. You are only saying it in anger. The content is the same. Praise God. Look why a soul winner is sowing seed of joy to heaven. And why the earth remain a seed time and harvest shall not cease. You can't sow a genuine seed and miss the harvest. So he reaps harvest of heavenly joy on the earth. You just can't put him down. You can't cast him down. Amen. And a soul winner is ever confident. You know why? It's in union with God. And God was working with them. A God's presence fills his environment. And that mm, confers inexplainable confidence in him. Watch this. Every genuine soul winner keeps burning with divine confidence. Can't stop them. Praise God. We went to a village many years ago and I said, don't knock. Just knock, open the door. Yes, no, don't, don't, don't say hello. Can I come in? No. Oh, he will see you inside. We'll see you straight. I just came for you. Amen. So we went on ground like marines. We just go. Hello, who's here? I came for you. got to pull them out of fire and his presence just dominates you and so these are things that you can't buy with money they come by the pursuit of your high calling it, it, it's amazing praise God amazing we met somebody on our crusade 1976 he's never spoken and the Lord said get down and give him a kiss and I will lose his tongue. I went down. Give me a kiss. Somewhere, yes. Say Jesus, Jesus. First time in his life. He was taller than me. Now, you are in, don't do this religiously. Do it as a calling on your life. Don't pursue it that if it works, then okay, if it doesn't work, it must work. The one who ordained you as ordination means endowment of grace glory to God so you have what it takes 
to get results. That's your higher calling that guarantees access to your high places in life. Don't miss that for anything. Now, engaging the breakthrough power of the world. We start by looking at the fact that God's word is supernatural. Remember in the beginning was the word, the word was his God, and the word was God. All things were made by the word, and without the word was not anything made that was made. So God dwells in his word. Who is like unto thee, O God, who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. It is this wonders without number that makes God God. Can I hear your amen? Yeah. Doing wonders. We are told in prophecy that Jesus' name will be called Wonderful. That simply means full of wonders. The world became flesh and we behold his glory as that of the only begotten Son of God. So, Jesus is the living word of God. Glory to God. And that word is full of wonders. So, every encounter with the word steers the wonder working power of God inside us. The word is full of wonders. God dwells in his word. You put those facts together. That tells you that access to the word is the covenant platform for commanding signs and wonders. Encounters with the word empower us to command signs and wonders in the area of such encounters. So important. When I encounter the price paid by Christ for our total health, I scream saying, yea, I can never be sick. That's 41 years ago. It's not luck. It's outbreak of light. Why himself took, not that it's coming and then somebody disturbed him as when he was going to Jairus' house, and somebody was touching his garment. He already took our infirmity. And bear our sicknesses. I saw him in that encounter carrying it on his head. And setting free my head. I saw that when he took the place of Barabbas as a murderer, Mar Barabbas went to him during a party. Jesus went to the cross. I saw celebration of total head as a verdict from heaven. That was the day Ogumpa flood took place in the battle. I stood up, spinned or spun, whichever. Say, yea, I can never be sick. I've been saying this since that time. Now, it's um, going to be 41 years in July. Signs and wonders are domiciled in the world. Just like in Exodus chapter 4 verse 17 the Bible says and thou shalt take this rod in thy hand wherewith thou shalt do signs that rod is a symbol of Jesus 
or there shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse. And the seven spirits of God shall rest upon him. And Jesus is the carrier of the seven spirits of God. Revelation 5, 6. And Jesus, the living word of God, the world became flesh and we behold his glory. So, thou shalt take this word in thy hand, wherewith thou shalt do signs. Thou shalt take this word in thy hand, wherewith thou shalt do signs. So, the word of God is the carrier of signs and wonders. The word of God is the carrier of signs and wonders. The more of this world we have working within us is what determines our level of command of the supernatural. Second Peter 1 4, whereby are given unto us these exceeding great and precious promises that by this we might become partition partakers, we might be partakers of the divine nature. So our divine nature content rises the more revelations we encounter. Our divine nature content rises the more revelations we encounter. Let me show you this. It will bless you. We are told about Paul that he had abundance of revelations. In fact, God had to engage some bricks so I won't fly into the air. Abundance of revelation. Now, in Acts 14, 11, the gods have come down to us in the likeness of man. That's the effect of abundance of revelations. Now, in Acts 28, you have the story of when they had a shipwreck and then they arrived at one island and then the people were very kind. They made fire for them. And while Paul was trying to gather some wood to enhance the, uh, the flame of the fire, a viper, a venomous viper came and wounded. He said, ah, this man must be a devil. He had just escaped a shipwreck. And then, uh, viper again. But by verse 6, watch what they said in verse 6. After he shook off the thing and they waited for him to get blown up. How be the look when he should have swollen of falling down dead suddenly. But after they had looked a great while and saw no harm come to him, they changed their mind and said he was a god. Can I hear your amen? Yeah. They live in that island when you are beaten by this viper, you are gone. It's a matter of moment. And he had his paw, he shook it. Get, get off, my friend. And they waited for him. They said, hey! His system has been divinized by revelation. There are people here today, the last hurt you felt is the last we ever feel. There's a level you get into that sickness, we see you and salute and just walk away. Now this is not where to go. You know, they go about in rare places looking for rest. When they come in there and they find you illuminated, I mean illuminated by the world, they just walk away. They just walk away and leave you alone. That's how evil will be walking away from your territory. Amen. Throughout the remaining days of your life, the shout of joy, victory, and triumph and breakthrough shall not see from your habitation. Amen. So, you, you, if you are word lazy, you become vulnerable. The more revelation is loaded into your spirit, the higher the level of your command of the supernatural. Those sons of Scavamos are found people using the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches and getting results. But he didn't know that those ones are members of the household of God. So they came. That I saw those people the other time saying the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches. And the devils came out. 
So they say, in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches, the demon says, just hold on. He pounced on him. Go, go, go. Jesus, I know, Paul, I know. No, you hear people like him. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. You get to a point that your name will carry such level of command as Jesus' name. Amen. Can I hear your loudest amen? amen? It is not the one who said, The works that I do shall ye do also. And greater works than this shall ye do because I go to my Father. You believe in me. So, it's all about how loaded we are with the revelation of the truth. That's what defines our level of command of the supernatural. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. He was involved in one uh, auto accident and the vehicle hit one stuff on the highway and the vehicle was rolling down into the median of the express. And my wife said, Jesus name, Jesus. I said, no, no, no. Once he said, no. In Jesus' name. We are not going to hit that thing. Come on. Few inches to the place, the car was dived. That ended it. Boom! In the midst of the air. Relax, my friend. Peace. In Jesus' name. The plane organized itself and went to where it should be. <laughs> Amen. Our level of command has to do with the level of divine nature at work in us. And we imbibe divine nature by revelation. Diverse encounters. For instance, I've never had an alternative source of supply for any kingdom project. It must come from God or it's not needed. It must come from God or it's not needed. I've never thought of me and whatever I might have on God's project, no. The silver is mine. That's what he told me. And the gold is mine, said the Lord. So I, I'm not putting you under no pressure. I, I have my budget. Now, and I, I've been running with that all these years. I've never had an alternative source of supplies to any kingdom project. This will be 50 million. Good. 150 million. Carry on. He told me that we should do it. So go on. And he has never failed once. Once. I pray that this month will be a month of diverse encounters in the world for you. Yeah. There are things we carry on our head that is God's responsibility. He said, cast all your cares upon me because I care for you. You won't carry yourself luggage again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So it's so important for us to know that the level of the word at work in us is what defines our level of command of the supernatural. The level. The level. The level. All the depth. So every verse has depth. All the depth, both of the knowledge and of the wisdom of God, how unsearchable are his ways and his paths past finding out. I pray that by this communion, God will enhance our capacity for depths in the world. He broke the bread and gave it to them and their eyes were opened. I pray that via this communion today, everybody's eye will be opened into greater depths in the word of God. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest, amen. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest, amen. Yeah. So shall it be. Amen. 1981, I was waiting on the Lord for about five days and I saw in Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 6, for the Lord thy God blesses you as he has promised you. And thou shalt lend to many nations, but thou shalt not borrow. 
I said, why? And because I, I, I commune with God as my father. It's not a myth. You know that you have to shake, then you talk to him. I said, why? He said, because a borrower is servant to the lender. What? And you cannot serve two masters. You have to choose one and despise the other. I said, Jesus, I despise the lender till I die. Whatever you can't give me, may I never have it. What I have, I'm contented with it. It's all of grace. No, I didn't have anything when I was saying those things. <laughs> but it was an encounter that I just dived into. And so it doesn't cross my, it doesn't cross my mentality. That, okay, can't I get something from you now and then I give it to you later? One encounter. If you know the, the, the joy of being debt free. Many of us in this church are debt free. <laughs> you will join that army. Many of us in this church are debt free. You are not praying because the creator is coming. And the creator says, anytime you finish praying, I will wait. Is it because I'm coming that you are praying? I will wait. <laughs> Amen. The harassment of indebtedness ends this year in everyone's life. Amen. And now we are led into nations. Oh. I was hosted to a national TV in one of those countries where the president was pleading for us to build a university in their nation. Pleading. I said, no, we are not politicians. We cross-check from God what he wants us to do part time and where he wants us to do it. He said, I should just give him a word. I said, no, we don't give words like that. It was on national TV. It's politicians who give words that they don't believe in. We don't give words like that. When he wants election, he will tie the road to your house and tie it to your room. He will now buy you a bed and bed sheet. And he will lay you on it so anytime you are tired, you come there and lay you on it. <laughs> After you have given your vote, that's the end. <laughs> Next time he said, No, I'm not only tying your room, I'm building flyover in your village. <laughs> Even though there's no, I said there's no traffic. No, I'm just going to build flyover. Praise God. In his own country, can I tell you this? The encounter of this month will turn everything in your life around. Yeah. It's real. This is real. Now let's go to one side of it that will also help us to appreciate the place of the word in commanding signs and wonders. In John chapter 10 verse 35, if you check behind, you find out they were brother that Jesus called himself the son of God. And now, now I am my father one. That's what they said. They said, what? Jesus answered them, many good works have I showed thee from my father. For which of those works do ye stone me? And they said, very good work. We stone thee not, but for blasphemy. And because that thou being a man, make it thyself God. And Jesus answered, is it not written in your law? I said ye are God. If he called them God, unto whom the word of God came, and the scriptures cannot be broken. So it is the incoming of the word into our life that turns the God in us loose. The word that comes into us is what turns that God in us loose. Now, in Psalm 82, verse 5 to 7, from where Jesus brought that out, they know not, neither will they understand. So they walk on in darkness. 
All the foundations of the earth are out of course. So you can be in command of all the foundations of the earth. I have said. What did they know? They didn't know what he has said. Well, they did not understand. They didn't understand what he has said. I have said, ye are gods. And I mean all of you. All of you that are children of the most high God. Now, that's prophetic. There was no child of God in the Old Testament. That's prophetic. But you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Because you don't know it. And you don't want to understand it because it's to you. Blasphemy. You didn't say so. He said, He said, I have said. Who has said? God. That you are what? That you are God. And I mean, all of you that are children of the most high God. The children that are born of me, I am the children whom God has given me there for signs and wonders. So, all of you, my children, you are after my likeness. My very likeness will carry me on your inside. I have said, ye are God. I said a few days back, or the first day I said, the child of a goat is a goat. The child of a pigeon is a pigeon. The child of a cow is a cow. The child of a man is human. Now, what should the child of God be? How many of you are truly children of God here? Are you... Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Now, whose child are you? Are you very sure? Do you believe in that statement? When we were born of our natural parents, we, we, we were born with human life. Now, we are born of God. We now have the God kind of life. We share same kind of life with God. That should dawn on you. That should change your perspective. So, you are born again to live above all circumstances. God does not live under any circumstance. Not under the circumstances. What can I do? God lives above all circumstances. And when you are born again, and me, he raised us up together with him. And made us to sit together with him in heavenly places where you're not under any kind of circumstances. Far above where circumstances operate. We have other powers operate. Far above. Please let this word find a place in you. I have said, you better pray to know it. You better pray to understand it. So that your command can become absolute over the affairs of life. Amen. I have said, ye are God. He said, the reason you lost command is that you, you, you don't understand, you don't know what I say, you don't understand it. So all the foundations of the earth are out of course. You gain command by this revelation. I call it ultimate revelation of redemption that establishes your divine realities. Your divine realities. I have said, he's waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. The sons of God must come to discover themselves and what they carry. Can I hear your amen? amen. To define their identity and what is loaded in them. Let's get to that point. Praise God. Praise God. We crossed an impossible bridge many years ago, 1984. We already entered the bridge before we discovered that another vehicle was coming on the other side. Those narrow bridges of those days. And I knew the bridge around 1.20 in the morning. Suddenly, a word struck. According to my spirit, he will give his angels charge over me to bear me up on their wings, lest I dash my foot against the stone. I say, Even my foot is very precious to you. How oh, about my head? Jesus, step in. How we pass till my time on earth is over is inexplainable. The word, the carrier of God. The carrier of Christ, 
the carrier of signs and wonders. When we cross the other side to the other side, the other people bleed down what? <sighs> the car almost shook. I said, did you see that vehicle? I said, I didn't see it. If I were like you, you would drive into the water. And then the water can help carry us to wherever. Signs and wonders. They are triggered by the world. So the more of the world you have, and the areas they cover, the greater your command of the supernatural. Somebody's here today. No devil beat you about again. In the name of Jesus. No devil beat you about again. In the name of Jesus. Well, you know God answers prayer, don't you know? Something happened last night in Kaduna. Whatever way they painted it, but many terrorists were leveled. Leveled. Level. Last night. Not 100. Not 200. Come on, give the Lord praise. Amen. We serve on the spot God. We serve a pre answering God. In the, in the name of Jesus, wanton killings must end in Nigeria. Yeah. Because God has not changed. He's still angry with the wicked every day. And he has prepared his instruments of death in dealing with them. And he has started. And it will continue. Yeah. It will continue. Yeah. It will continue. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. He has started and it will continue. He has started and it will continue. He has started and it will continue. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you believe you're a child of God, lift up your right hand to heaven and thank him for his word that empowers believers to command the supernatural. Would you thank him for his word that empowers believers to command the supernatural? Ask him to deepen your inside by the mystery of the communion table tonight as I partake of the bread, the broken body of Christ. Your eyes will be open as it happened then because the word of God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Grace to spend time in the world. Grace to spend time for what encounters. Grace to spend time through resource materials available to you. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. When they say, as far as your eyes can see, unto you will I give it. So, the more access to this book, the higher your level of command. As far as your eyes can see, unto you will I give it. As far as your eyes can see. And I pray that as you partake of the communion, your eyes will be open. You will know deeper. You will see brighter yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Give the Lord a big hand of praise, everyone. Yeah. Amen. There are people here tonight that need to turn their life over to Jesus. If you are here, you want to say, Jesus, save my soul. I want to become a member of your household. Make me your child today. Forgive me my sins. He will do it. He said, if any man comes to me, I will in no wise cast out. So wherever you are, both here at the youth chapel, in any of our viewing centers, you want to say, Jesus, save my soul. Forgive me my sins. Please stand to your feet and I'll pray with you. Stand to your feet. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Stand to your feet wherever you are. And I'll be praying for you right now in the name of Jesus Christ.
in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There are also people here tonight that need to rededicate their life to Jesus. A broken branch of any tree is dead. It's only a matter of time. You want to reconnect back to God tonight. You are tired of standing in the middle of the road. You don't want to be lukewarm, neither cold nor hot. You don't want to be double-minded. You want to say, Jesus, only you are with her. You want to say, Jesus, I'm returning back home. Wherever you are, please stand to your feet. Everyone that wants to rededicate his or life to Christ, please stand to your feet. You want to stay the return back to God. Stand on your feet and I'll pray with you. God bless you. God bless you. Somebody else needs to get up. Wherever you are, please get up quickly. It's your opportunity for a change of story. Get up quickly. Get up quickly in the name of Jesus. Now, everybody standing up for these prayers, please make your way to the front. Come over. Come over right now. Come over right now. Come over right now. Come over right now. Whether you stood up at that time or not, you can join us quickly. And in all the VA centers, please make your way. Make your way. Make your way. Make your way to the altar area. The pastors are waiting to receive you. Make your way there right away. Make your way there right away. It's the dawn of a new day. Somebody else is getting up somewhere. Get up quickly and join us. Come and experience a new beginning. Thank you, Jesus. Please bow your heads for prayers. Lift up your right hand, please. And pray this simple prayer of faith after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you tonight. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me. On the third day, you rose again to set me free, to save my soul. Tonight, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. And I believe my sins are now forgiven. I am saved. I am restored back to the faith. I am now a child of God. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Amen. Keep your hands up as I pray. Father, I pray over these precious souls. Your grace has brought them in. Let the same grace preserve them. Be blessed of the Lord. I cover each of you with the blood of Jesus. You will never turn back to the world. You will never go back into darkness. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Congratulations. Please open your eyes and walk this way to submit your sleep.